Hello, this is Eric uh, from Seed Studio. As of last week, we have proudly launched Wild Terminal. Uh, I'm very glad a lot of people like it. And uh, as one of the key features is to make Wild Terminal totally open source, which does not only mean releasing the schematics, but also to release all the process of how to make it, how to design it. So from this week, we are going to have a series of video blogs to bring you to our injection molding factories, to bring you to our assembly lines, and also we're happy to answer any of your questions or any aspect of this product. The ultimate goal is to enable more people to make a young, your own device and share back. So now we are on the highway towards the injection molding factory. Now it's very smooth. Today I'm Eric, I'm going to need you to this tour. And this is our engineer, mechanical engineer, Xiao Xu. And uh, this is Xinan, our product manager. So he will be like uh, ma managing the uh, wire terminal. So he is very curious as the first timer going to an inje injection molding uh, factory. So we are on the main uh, highway from uh, Shenzhen to Guangzhou. You will see um, besides the highway, it's all the all kinds of factories. They have been like providing a lot of diversity of supply chains of this area. You will see all the supplies around the factories providing uh, all the toolings, all the accessories for automation for industries. You will see why injection molding is expensive because it involves a lot of people, involves a lot of processes. It's very much like assembly, hand assembly a machine. And that machine can make more parts that you will be using today. So um, to make a mold is easy, but how to make the mold with enough experience to make it a consistent, to make it a, like good looking, it's a, a different uh, uh, challenge. Okay, so let's come out. So you so see, they have a lot of uh, all kinds of modes, from the small ones, from big ones. For what we use today for wire terminal, it's very small and uh, so it's not an expensive mode. Whenever they finish the fine tunings, they will do polishing with this, this machine. You can take a look. Because the, f the surface of this uh, uh, plastic is very much mattered by the way they polish it. They need to consider the temperature, the pressure, the timing for process, and uh, also according to the finished touch of the design. A lot of time it's like collaborated experiment. Like uh, the designers, the industrial designers, including the mechanic designers and the motor factories, they need to work very tightly together to make sure we have the right balance. For the right terminal, we have three parts. Two is for the battery, another for a different cover page for the main uh, unit. So today we come here to examine the first uh, experiment of uh, wire terminal. So this is a bank plate for wire terminal. They have been finishing that and we come here to examine that. You will see there's still some glitches, which is not perfect, that uh, will be affected by the temperature settings, timings, and also they will have some extra process to even this out. And uh, today, just now, I will show you the footage later, is how we process the face plate. Now, for now, we combine these two together. That's the first uh, injection molded wire terminal enclosure alike. It's very cheap, very convenient to make after all the tedious, difficult process of injection molding setup. So that's the machine we are using to make this, all these things happening. It's very much like a 3D printer, but in a different way is, this is a, a pallet, the raw material of the plastics 
as they get melted and send from the uh, incumbent materials also to that the printer head, the huge printing head. And with the extra, with the very strong pressures and temperatures, they will mold and they will flow into the uh, steel mold. And after it's cooling out, we pull it out, we push it out, it comes into this kind of form factors. And after we cut it open and uh, adjust all the finish that form the uh, whole enclosure. Then we will move on. After we have enough enclosures to combine with other build materials and to combine with electronics and we do a testing, that be stage for next week. Okay. 所以要通過別的料的話要要別改變一下這個設計。那我们第一款这个呃半遮屏就有了是磨成功修改尺寸它就是相当于成品放电也要一个人毕业的时候也要一个人还有一个产学员工还有一个设计师傅就是最少要七个人就是说如果不重复使用的话那这七个人要工作多长时间才能做出一个模大概算的话呢大概算的话他要二十一天左右所有人加在一